What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're at another card show. We have a big card show spending challenge. Our budget this time is $10,000, so the biggest one we've done by far. This is in collaboration with my friends at Whatnot. There's a twist to this challenge we're doing. So I'm gonna buy the cards for $10,000, but then I'm gonna go live on Whatnot and auction each one off individually. So we'll see what I paid for them and how much they sold for, compare contrast uh, how much I make or lose on each one. So uh, totally up to you guys what you guys feel to spare, all being auctioned off. And some may go for a lot, some may go for a little. Totally up to you guys. So don't do this kind of stuff. Uh, don't touch on the side of the hobby too much, but I thought it'd be fun to do for this challenge. So if you guys like these videos, help us out, drop a like, subscribe, share, comment, sign up for membership, or many more like it. So that being said, let's go on the show four and see what's going on. So for this show, we'll be using the Center Stage app. Pretty simple, scan cards, get comps, and it saves you a bunch of time. You can see what your cards are worth. So we'll be using it on the show four today. If you've ever been to a show, you know that it can be kind of a pain to search up all the comps. It takes a lot of time. So this should definitely save us some time. Hopefully find some good comps and also save our thumbs. So here's the show four. Pretty big show. Tables go all the way to the back there, and then there's also the right side here. And then on the left, we have uh, some seating in the back there, and then there's the main stage over there. So, a lot of cool stuff going down. Tons of tables. This is probably the second biggest show I've gone to. Uh, 400 tables here total. So, really nice, and hopefully, we can find some cool cards. So, excited to see what we find. So, I went to this table here. I was here for about an hour and went through a bunch of cards, made a bulk deal for a uh, bunch of stuff here. So, if you check it out, here's the cards we got. So, um, Got this Jaw Silver and got a Derek White Disco. It's a 50 Terrence Man. These are the retail kind of kind of super short print autos. Then got Barrett Hyper, so about 20 comp on that one. And um, got that, I think uh, we threw it in for like uh, 10, was it? The big bulk deal. So we got uh, this Wade and then this Lamello and Cam Reddish. Got the Mitchell here, silver. Uh, this is a 35, by the way. And then we got, uh, once again, this all for uh, 535. Um, yeah, that's too bad. I mean, scanning this jaw. So, uh, recent comps around there. This was about in the 150 we got it for. So, not too bad overall. 535 for uh, all these ones. All right, so uh, we're good for 535, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Appreciate it. So, um, yeah, so these are the ones we got. Here's some cool cards. We got Kyler there, a Brady Auto. I really want a Brady Auto. And then a lot of Mahomes. There we go. Saw plenty at the National. You never have too much Mahomes though. And then here's some basketball. Some Luka. We got some Giannis, some Zion, and some Curry. Hero. The train is leaving the station. Choo choo. Some Trey Young. We are Trey fans around here. And a lot more cool stuff. So. A lot of nice cards here. All right, so I'm here at this table here. Found a bunch of cards, kind of a lot of stuff that I like. So here's some ones. We got a Cole and Giannis. I'm trying to make an offer. I'm looking up comps right now. Um, usually I'll make the bulk deals. Got to see what, you know, what they're worth. And then um, trying to make an offer. So if we can strike a deal, that'd be nice. Here's just a few I'm interested in. And there's more at the table that I like uh, too. So let's see if we can uh, make a deal for this, this lot here. Plus maybe some more. Thank you. Here's a nice card that might try to work into the deal. Uh, Curry from the original Optic, uh, 9.5, true gem. Special player, very cool card. So, in addition with these ones too. There we go. Curry, Shea, Luca got the Cole, Giannis, this is the one to 349. Um, LeBron, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And plus the Tatum, would you do a, uh, we do 2,700 on all of them? 2,700. All right, let me do some math. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I got some cards added in here. Curry and then Tatum here. This is the pink velocity to 79. So I offered a 27. We ended up meeting at a 29.50 for this lot combined. So a lot of nice stuff total. Yes, yeah, so I think it's solid by overall. A lot of cool cards, nice mix of cool things here. Cool, 29.50 yes, total, sir. friends and family. All right. Thank you. Just a... Uh, I'm sorry this was a little bit harder than our last deal, but... <laughs> no worries. You know. I'm glad we got a deal done. All good? Thanks. Appreciate it. I'll Thank you very time. much. All right, see you. Okay, so with that deal, I got the uh, lot here. I want to do a recap. So I offered a uh, 27 for them. Um, he counted at... He's around like the low three range. And um, then we kind of went by each card, came up a bit, and then we were able to get it for the uh, 29... Um, 29.50. So I've actually uh, made deals with him before in the past. I think it was a Philly show, so... We were able to work something out. We were just at the uh, little far part at the end, and then we met in the middle. Um, but yeah, so I like making these bulk deals, get a lot of cool stuff, and um, usually get a little bit of like a small discount on top. So really like these two, sweet cards. 
And yeah, happy to close another deal. So here's a really cool card. This is the Ant Nebula from Draft Picks Crusade. Draft one, but uh, one of one. And the Nebula pattern you don't see too often. 10 also, absolutely beautiful card. All right, so I found some cards here. Uh, some that I like, got a little bit of football action here. Got uh, some Kyler Murray. That's the uh, silver field level 10. And then above it, we got another Kyler. That's the Prism 10 and then Devin Booker uh, Prism. The best of the bunch, Mr. Bane. And then Ja, gotta go Grizzlies, of course, this purple. He's got a few comps here. So yeah, see if I can get these in a bulk. Can I also see that uh, Lamelo to 25, actually? This is a nice Noir one. One of our favorite sets there. And so, uh, so these are the six. And um, yeah, I mean, would you do, you do uh, 1850 for these six? Let's go up to 19, we gotta do. 19? Appreciate it. Got you. All right, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Another one down, got some more cool stuff. And uh, on to the next one. All right, so taking a break, thought I'd provide a little update on uh, how we are so far. Didn't bring my chair from the last video. So we're using this chair here, and uh, next time we have to have it. But here's what we have so far. So a bunch of cards, it's been uh, kind of like that mid 5K range so far. And um, it's a lot of stuff here. So got Curry, Cole Anthony. Nice, uh, nice mix. Haven't gotten many players, like more than, more than twice, if at all. So Tatum, really nice one there. Uh, Curry, love year one optic. We got some uh, Luca. We got Lamelo. And so far, what I have left is about in that mid 4K range left. I think like 46, somewhere around there. Uh, Kyler and Booker, and then Ja, and then really cool one. So a uh, very nice kid gave me this Vassell Silver. You know who you are. Thank you very much, dude. You rock. And there's a nice little update, nice little highlights during our uh, during our break. So got to take a break. And um, yeah, hit the floor again soon. Hopefully get some more cool stuff. Here's something very cool. The full spellbound name for Lamello spelled out. Lamello under it. And, and the hardest one, Obi. Never done one of these before, but I know they have the Letterman ones. I was gonna try that once in the past, but uh, this is definitely a cool and easier one to do. The Lamello and then Ant. You ever spelled out one of these? Let me know. Definitely try to do that more in the future. All right, so I'm here at the Whatnot booth. I'm here with Binder from Whatnot. They're one of the sponsors for the show. So for those who don't know, what's the best way to describe what Whatnot does? Yeah, so Whatnot's the largest live shopping marketplace in the country. Uh, sellers go live and sell a variety of collectible categories. So sports cards, Pokemon, vintage clothing, comic books. Uh, and they can hop on live and sell and do auctions. So what they're known for is doing one minute auctions starting at a dollar. For the buyer, you're getting the instant satisfaction of getting that card after the minute. For the buyer, it's really great for liquidity. They can get that get that money and kind of put it into new inventory and yeah. build their brand on the platform. All right, cool, man. Thanks for uh, talking with me. I'll see you future shows. Yeah, good luck. So this is the third day of the show. This challenge is over the course of all three days. So we're going in for the last day. Hopefully, find some last day deals, and we still have a good amount to spend. So hopefully, we can uh, get something cool. Here's the center, really big place. And uh, now we're going in, see what we can find. All right, so I've been at this table every single day. They have a card I like a lot. This is the uh, John Morant Lava, one I really wanted to uh, get. I have the Galactics, and I have a uh, Sunburst, I think, as well. So this is one that I'm trying to get for the uh, collection here. Can I see this card a little closer, please? Thank you. Again? <laughs> We've stopped uh, every day by here, talked about it a little bit, see if we can work a deal. So the last uh, number you gave me was at uh, 1.5, right, you said? 1,500, yeah. Would you do 1.3? Uh, 1.4. 1. 1.4? 1. I'll do 1.4. Yeah. Okay. All right. Appreciate it, man. All right. Easy deal. Easy deal. Beautiful Easy card. Deal. Yeah. I know it's Gotta have a it. good collection. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Got to have the card. There we go. All right. Appreciate it. We got it. Let's go. Thank you very much. So I came to the table here. I actually saw this one of the earlier days. And uh, this is the one that caught my eye for obvious reasons. A guy we know and love. Can I see that jaw a little closer, please? Thank you. Thanks. So purple ice. Love ice, love purple. It's a card made out of heaven. Look at that. So it's uh, 87 to 149. You're asking uh, 1.3. Would you do, uh, were you 1K on it? I think that's along what the recent ones I've sold for. It's like the last sales. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm seeing, uh, yeah, same things pretty much. 13, 9. Yeah, so I mean, 13, 9, 80. Most recent ones kind of average of those is. Say with 1K? That's what I was going to do. I was 
I was going to take these three and average them. Nine, and then how much would that be? 1340 plus 910 plus 1049. They're really in the hero boat. Divided by three. Puts us at 1099. And then, yeah, you know. 1,000 bucks. 1,000? All right, easy deal. Thank you very much. How about that? John Morant? Love it. Got it. Got it? Thank All right. You, Appreciate it. Thank you. Going, you too. See you. Some beautiful stuff. Babe Ruth. Really awesome. Some of the coolest cards you'll see. So we're at another table here. Found some cool stuff. Uh, the first one I like is uh, right here. Then we have a Curry right there. And a Luca right here. So I'm trying to make a deal for those ones. Like six I and love five are my lows on these. Six and I five. Can't. What if I if I threw one more in? Uh, find another card. Do you think you maybe take a look? All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. Would you do twelve seventy five? Throw in the tray. It's, it's no, it's two for two. Like What do you think you could do? With all those I, in. Thank you. Though. That is a one fifty comp all day. If I did one and a quarter for that, adding yeah. it in. Which I wouldn't normally just do to lower something. I would, but that still puts us now we're at 1325. You're 1325, right? I'm 1275, I think. For all of them? Uh, yeah, for one, two, three, and four. You were at 1325, you said? 13? $50 apart stuff. Yeah, so $50 apart, each you get 25, 13? That's the way you do awesome. it. Awesome. We're all good. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. All right, you too. Well, here we go. Lillard. About Luca, and so nice we got him twice in Marvels. Trey Curry, very nice stuff. Here's a really cool card that caught my eye. LeBron got some NT action. Jordan, and can't go wrong with Kobe. Here we go. One of the rarest case hits that you can possibly get. The Color Blast of Hero. I think one in ten cases. So very rare you see those. Even rare to pull. Nikhil, like Ant, uh, Booker, where's the Booker? A Booker. I don't know if those were in it initially. These um, I think these, these are not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Giannis, Jaren, Ja, and Tatum. All the time pressure, the shot clock is winding down. So 23.15 for these seven here. We're good. Yep. Yes. So it's exactly three. Three. Uh, at the buzzer. Every single one, you know how we do it. The lights are off. <laughs> Always at the buzzer. We're clutch. All right. We got it, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's what went down. We got Ant. Got Jaren. This is the green. This is the tie-dye to 25. Devin Booker from a final little promo thing to 25. This is Nikhil, a white pulsar from uh, Obsidian. Jason Tatum to 99 RP from Noir. Got Giannis White Sparkle. It's very nice. White Sparkle again, John Morant. So, these are the ones we got. Worked a deal. And uh, as long as I added everything up correctly, that's it. We spent our full uh, budget. So, let's do a recap and show everything we got. All right, guys. So, the show is officially over, as you can see behind me. All our card show videos always finish at the buzzer. You always see people packing up. That's always how we end up doing it. But uh, had tons of fun. Uh, we spent over 11,000 here at the show, 10,000 for the challenge, and over 1,000 for cards from uh, personal collection, uh, Ms. Pac Man, things like that. So, excited to show you guys all this. Next step, what we'll be doing is going live on Whatnot. We'll auction off every single card. That'll be sometime between uh, now and before the video goes live. And whatever you guys feel is fair is what they go for. So, we'll see how much I make or lose on each one and I'll see what they go for. I'll show what I paid versus what I sold. And uh, yeah, that'll be once again on Whatnot sometime between now and, and then. But uh, thank you to everyone who made a deal with me. Thank you to everyone I met. It was a pleasure. I had so much fun at these shows. If you guys like these videos, show the support on them. We'll have more like it, of course. And uh, yeah, so here are the cards we got. Yeah. So number one here is the John Morant Purple Wave, 9-5. Bane Silhouette. Got Lamelo to 25, Noir. Kyler, 10 Prism Rookie. 10 Field Level, Kyler. Uh, it's the uh, Select. And then this is Prism, Devin Booker, 10. Got here. Luca, Sunburst to 75. We got Tatum, Pink Velocity, 9.5 rookie. Got a, that's a 79. This Curry is to 99 from Year One Optic. Then we got LeBron, I think 11, 12 National Treasures jersey card. Got a, the Jaren, Red Wave, Shea to 49, PSA 10. Giannis, Crusade rookie to 349. Yeah, 349. Uh, Cole Anthony to 149 Lime. Uh, Curry rookie, got OG. Got Aiton to 299, Prism Rookie. 
Jarrett Allen to 20, Prism. Got Cam Reddish, 35. That's a nine. Got Terrence Mann, SSP uh, rookie auto from Prism. Got Ja Silver, the Hyper Barrett. Derek White, uh, the pink fast break to 50. Silver, Donovan. Lomelo, blue silver from retail. D Wade, Topps Chrome rookie. Love Topps Chrome. Tatum RPA. Then we got uh, the Ja. Uh, the, the Tatum's from Noir to 99, I think it was, and the Jaws the White Sparkle, 85. Devin Booker from those uh, finals promo packs, I think it is. One of 25 jersey number. Nikhil, Obsidian White Pulsar, got the Jaren to 25 die cut. Ant Green, got a uh, White Sparkle Giannis, looks very nice. Got the Luca, 10 Prism Rookie, 10 Curry Marvels, 10. Got Trey Young Marvels. Got the Lillard Prism Rookie. Then got the John Morant. 149 purple ice, so nice. And then for uh, myself, we got Lava Ja. Love this card. That's a 10. Then uh, one of my friends got this uh, Jalen Brown to 299. And then for Miss Pac Man, we got some uh, Harry Potter stuff and then also this Kawhi uh, loop in there for those who are Harry Potter fans. Then uh, very nice to give me this Vassell. So thank you very much, you rock. And that pretty much does it for all we did here. So we bought in bulk a lot. Usually, uh, sometimes at the shows, the prices might be a little higher. Not all the time, of course, but uh, one way I like to do it is, you know, buy in bulk, buy several cards, and then usually get a little like, discount on the top off of that. So I had a great time once again, and uh, we'll be selling these live on whatnot. So yeah, this next uh, clip will be us, uh, what we paid for each card, and then what we sold each one for. So we're back home now, as promised. We're going card by card. We're gonna show you how much we paid and then how much uh, they sold for. So an important thing to note here is that the buying, selling, and then in some cases selling again took place over a longer period of time than usual. So you might see that some comps are uh, older comps or some sales kind of match up to older dates. Uh, that is because they took place over a longer period of time and they're all from the past. So you might see some of those things. It's an important thing to note. And um, in some way helped to the challenge to see kind of, um, I guess, older prices paid and then how much we sold it for more recently. And um, I guess if I was going to buy a card today and sell it tomorrow, it wouldn't really change much. So in some cases, we saw some of these change a lot, whether it's up or down. So it's fun to see. And um, yeah, I guess cover a different part of the hobby that we usually don't cover too much. Um, another thing is for some of them, we had some troll bids for our auction. We had like our first stream and um, there were some trolls in the first one. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but we did have to re-auction some. So I mentioned we re-auctioned some. Uh, we uh, made sure we made it right with everyone, regardless if they were trolling or not. We uh, canceled those ones, made sure everything was good and um, the others were fine, thankfully. But yeah, even if they're trolling, we're not going to screw them with it and stick them with the charge. So uh, we, of course, re-auctioned those ones. And um, yeah, so with these... Uh, bulk deals another thing is the prices paid are rough kind of estimates say i bought 10 cards and i paid a thousand dollars um i kind of just give like a rough guesstimate of how much i paid for each one because sometimes it gets a little like a little blurry in there so um and most people go to shows and do this all the time this is what tons of people do and uh not something i've done on a regular basis i don't think i've really done anything quite like this before so it's fun to do and i usually buy from my collection which i still did but it was fun to try this and i know a lot of people do this and have a great time and um, yeah, I thought why not try it ourselves. So if you want to see more, let me know. But that being said, let's start with the, uh, the cards here. And um, yeah, so we have card number one. We have this jaw here. So this one we paid, I'll say a thousand, I think it was for this one. And then we sold this one for 925. So didn't uh, make anything on this one. Took a small loss on that one. Beautiful card though. That might be the, the best one, I think, in my opinion. I just love that card. So yeah, thousand to 925. And it's a beautiful card. Absolutely love it. So then the next one is the Curry. So this one we paid 384, and this is first year optic, awesome card. We sold this one for 366, so it took a small loss on that one. And uh, with some of these, you'll see that we did really well. Some of these we lost a lot. Some of these were right on par, and that's the fun of it. See um, kind of how they go for. So next up is Barrett Hyper. This one we bought for 10, and we sold for 62. He's been playing very well recently, so uh, profit on that one which is awesome to see. And then next one, another one we made some profit on, bought Jaren for 15, sold this one for 78. So nice one to see there, the Jaren uh, Red Wave. And then the next card up would be this Derek White. So this one bought for 20, sold for 100. And since then he's been uh, traded, he's a Celtic now. So awesome to see, uh, made 80 on that one. And then next card is another personal favorite. Got John Morant, Silver. So bought this for 150 and then this sold for 390. 
So, uh, yeah, really nice card. And Jaw's been playing out of his mind recently. So, definitely his, uh, his stuff went up there. And this one we made a uh, profit on. Then Aiton, bought for 85, sold for 57. So, took a loss on this one. I uh, like Aiton a lot. And Red Prism there. Um, it's, a, it's a cool card. Didn't lose a crazy ton. But, yeah, 85 to 57 on that one. So, Man, bought for 20, sold for 42. So, profit on that one. Super short print cards. And, um... And they're nice cards. I like these ones. Sticker autographs, but I don't think they make these or made these for last year's prism. But yeah, next card would be Booker. Bought for 350. Sold for 418. So nice. We are in the green for this one. Uh 68 up. And uh it's a cool card. It's um base kind of prisms. Are always uh nice desirable cards. Then Lamello bought for 15, sold for 52. So we're up on that one. This is the blue uh, retail prism. So it's a nice uh, card, new this year. Next up is Kyler. So this one, bought for 740 sold for 362 So, yeah, it took a loss. We took a big loss there. But, um, yeah, it's all good. Kyler there. This is the uh, Silver Field level, PSA 10. It's a nice card. I really like that card. So congrats to whoever got that one. But uh, next one up is Tatum. Another one we didn't do so hot on. twelve sixty. we bought it for, sold it for 735 And uh, someone got a really nice Tatum. Tatum, a good player. And, uh, unfortunately, didn't do too hot on this one. But, um still really cool and uh it's a nice card there so next one up we have the uh desmond desmond bain the hottest card we got 35 dollars we bought it for 121 we sold it for and uh bain has had some uh, awesome performances since we bought the card so that one as well as many other bain cards went up in value thankfully so nice to see bain one of my faves and uh, next up is curry so rookie curry lucky curry bought for 125 sold for 161 so, good one there, and uh, yeah, nice uh, Curry rookie. Can't go wrong with Curry, Curry in a hurry. And that brings us to our next one, which is Jaren. So, bought this for 100 and we made some profit, sold for 125 Very nice. And, uh, of course, Jaren, one of my faves. I like these die cuts, look pretty cool. And Slux is always a favorite product, so uh, up 25 on that one. Awesome to see. And that brings us to the next one up, which is the Giannis here. So, numbered. And it's a rookie crusade. Love these. Bought for 360, sold for 370. So made 10 on that one. A whopping 10. But awesome. Awesome to see. Uh, that's a beautiful card. Love crusades. And that's definitely a nice card of a very, very good player. So there's the Giannis. And next is Cole Anthony. So bought for 75, sold for 146. Very nice. Magic have a lot of nice players. Cole's a very nice young player. So uh, we're in the green on that one. Next is Luca Prism PSA 10. Bought for 500. Sold for 399. So took a loss on that one. The Luca Prism, an iconic modern uh, card here. But um, yeah, it's, it's Luca Prism. We all know this one. And unfortunately, we didn't come out uh, too positive on that one. But next is Cam Reddish Pulsar. So this is uh, 200 bought for. Sold for 270s. Now, since been traded to the Knicks. So it's a nice card. I love Cam Reddish. Hopefully, we can do something great. But he has a 9 there. And uh, we were able to come out with $70 profit on this one. Next one up would be Giannis again. So the stack, Giannis got uh, for 140 sold for 102 Took a little bit of a loss, but very nice card. And uh, happy someone could add that to their collection. So uh, lost lost a bit on it, but it's a cool one. Love these. And yeah, super short prints, really clean card. So uh, Lillard bought 125 sold 184 So we're in the green for this one. And uh, yeah, Lillard Prism, first year Prism. Love that set. It's super, super expensive to open, but that's a cool card from that one. And then we have Mr. John ja Morant. So bought 325, sold for 554. So profit on that one. Anything Ja, all the Grizzly stuff, I feel like we did pretty well on. Uh, those guys have been playing really well, and um, Ja's been crazy. So next up is Lamelo. 200 we paid, 126 is what we uh, sold it for. So didn't do too hot on that one, unfortunately. But you win some, you lose some. That's the kind of beauty of everything. You never know. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. In this case, we lost. Mitchell, we uh, bought this for 70, sold for 200. So, big time in the green on that one. And, uh, yeah, Donovan Mitchell, very good player for the uh, Jazz. And that's his rookie select silver. Then it's Devin Booker. So, we bought this for 280, sold this for 410. So, very nice. And uh, this is a set that, it's a pretty cool. I don't know why I'll do more of these, but, yeah, Devin Booker. Uh, SGC graded there and yeah that's uh that one there so the next one up 
is we have Shea for 200 we paid, um, sold for 261, PSA 10, uh, Luminance uh, Chronicles, and yeah, we did well on that one, thankfully. Then we have Kyler, bought for 250, sold for 255. Profit, <laughs> we did so well. Uh, made uh, five on that one, but uh, still good to see. And yeah, we'll see what happens with uh, Kyler there. Not the best time to be selling anything Kyler, but we did make five. And then Trey Marvels, bought for 115, sold for 267. And um, yeah, PSA 10, Ms. Pack would love that one and does love that one. She saw it and I was like, ooh, what's this? So 267, made some a profit on this one. And then that brings us to the next card, which is the uh, LeBron. So this LeBron bought for 125 and sold for 256. So good stuff going on there. And can't go wrong, LeBron James, Game War, National Treasures. Overall, just love to see it. And uh, yeah, we did well on that one. D Wade, LeBron's friend, 50 paid, sold for 124. So did well on that one from a 03 or 04 tops Chrome, Chrome rookie at D Wade. Then Nikhil bought for 30, sold for 53. So made profit on this one. These are the super short print uh, white pulsars, I think they are, white pulsars. And Nikhil's a good young player. We'll see what he can do. And um, yeah, so we made a little bit on that one. Then we get to Luca. So bought for 200, sold for 209. So $9 in profit. Cha-ching, we are in there. And then, um, yeah, it's a nice card. Love this pattern and PSA 10 and, and Luca. So Jarrett is the next. Bought for 125, sold for 82. So didn't do too hot on that one, but nice card to 20. Can't go wrong with a nice player like Jarrett, best dressed. And um, yeah, didn't win on that one, unfortunately, but as we said, win some, lose some. So Curry Marvels. This one, uh, 560 we paid, sold for 391. Unfortunately, took an L there, but nice card. Marvels like that tray, very nice set. Now we have the OG. This is an interesting one. Uh, this one was just a free throw in with that deal. And I mentioned there was some troll biz. This was one of them. Um, so in this case, uh, we're not going to include this one just because uh, whether you know, trolling is just for fun or anything like that, which in this case, I believe it um, was, uh, they were not going to include this one towards the total because it went for an outlier price and um, it ended up being free in the deal because he just threw it in. Um, but yeah, OG, there we go. Unfortunately, it doesn't count, but um. Yeah, it's a, still a nice card. OG is a good player for the Raptors there. Um, that We bought it for zero. It was just a throw-in that uh, he included and then uh, sold for an outlier price. So it wouldn't be fair to include it towards this uh, this challenge. So then continuing on, the Ant bought for 65. We sold for 135. And um, yeah, did well on the Ant. So Ant, really good player. Big fan of him. Funny guy. And rooting for him, uh, one of the great players from last year's class so we'll see what he can do then tatum bought for 700 sold for 450 so took an l there but uh it's a nice card love noir black and white rpa there uh to 99 sgc 85 so it's a nice card in my opinion uh took an l but still really nice and caress to whoever got that one finally jaw sparkle paid a thousand sold for 1200 so we uh we did well and it's a nice card i love this one and i hate to see it go but yeah there we go that's our final one and uh, yeah, the jaw concludes us. So in total here, we made or lost $438. So uh, total sales, 10,438. We spent 10,000. So we profit 438. Uh, that profit will go towards another giveaway for you guys. I always put uh, everything just back towards channels. So I'll go towards a giveaway, something like that. Um, we always have tons and yeah, stay tuned for those, of course. But it was a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think of this video. And uh, if you guys like it, we can do some more. And um, yeah, it was fun to try. Don't do this too often or stuff like this. And I thought it'd be fun to uh, give it a go. So um, yeah, comment your thoughts down below. What was your favorite card? And uh, where some more things you want to see at shows? And maybe we can do them. So that's the first one, guys. And uh, as always, drop a like in the video, uh, share, comment, and uh, just show the support. We'll have more stuff, memberships, things like that. And that goes a long way towards helping do videos like this. So thanks for watching. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.